We're going to learn the art of the introduction from the pro today. Kimberly Law is with us. She is an image consultant. And Kimberly, introductions always start with a good handshake, but many of us don't do it well. That's true. The handshake is very important in both business and social situations. Okay. Now, to, um, there are some handshakes that don't go off so well, though. Let's and do the don'ts <laughs> first and then the do's. Okay, let's okay. do some of the don'ts. Well, the first one that is definitely a don't is shaking hands too hard. Some right. people have a very firm grip, and they don't realize how hard their grip really, really is. So um, another one would be the very limp handshake, where some people just kind of have a very wishy-washy, tentative sort of handshake, and that leaves the person thinking, like, Hmm, what's wrong? Something, you know, it, it's feeling feel right. a little uneasy. So not too firm, but not too soft. Right. Okay. Um, another one that isn't appropriate would be just taking the person's fingers and holding it very gently. Okay. It could be a little for, firmer, but definitely just holding the person's fingers is not the proper way to do a handshake either. You should go all the way into the web. Yes. So handshake, a good handshake would be facing the person that you're talking to. Right. Uh, having the hands web to web. Okay. Um, holding the other person's hand firmly, not right. too hard, not too soft, and then two or three pumps is always good. Okay? Eye contact. Good eye contact is very important as well. And smile and say hello to the person. That's right. always an asset as well. So hello. Sure. Hello. There we go. Okay. What if we're in a situation, and this happens all the time, where we have to introduce somebody else to the group? How well, does that work? If you're making an introduction, what we always want to do is show honor to the most important person. Now, this is a little bit different in business and social situations. In a business situation, the most important person is the person with the highest ranking title. In a social situation, it would be the person with the highest title or based on age. So the eldest person or the person with the highest title would be considered the most important person. Okay. Now, what you would do from there is you would always face the most important person, so assuming we have Sherry that just joined us now, but assuming that Robin is considered the most important person in this situation. Which means I'm the oldest. <laughs> what we would do is we would face Robin okay. and uh, introduce Sherry to Robin. So we always want to say the name of the most important person first. So in this situation, I would face Robin and say, Robin, I would like to introduce Sherry Law. Sherry, uh, Robin is the anchor for Global Television Weekend News. And then I would go on to talk a little bit about Sherry as well. So I might say something like, okay. Sherry is my sister-in-law, and uh, we're doing this segment here today or, or something just right. to, to, to initiate the uh, introduction. You want to give both of us a little bit of information about each other and how we relate to you as well. So exactly. if you want to have a conversation later, I know how to strike it up with her. Exactly. So you can find things in common with each other. It's always good to talk about things that you both have in common as right. well. And that way you have something to talk about later. And say, we both love water skiing or something that can mm -hmm. get us into our own conversation. Definitely, yes. Good handshake, by the way. Very well done. <laughs> so there you go. A few tips for you and some reminders the next time you have to shake somebody's hand or make that all-important introduction. Thanks again, Kimberly, for being with us. Thank you. Great advice, and if you'd like to learn more, Kimberly's company is Personal Impact Image Management, and you can get more information at personalimpact.ca or by calling 604-298-722.